The 1600 milligram poly trip with my twin. Yo, what's up? It's someone that's someone, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report was sent in by Kobe when this happened, February 13th, 2020. The drug used dextromethorphan polysterex at a dose of 1.5 bottles of delsum. The route administration orally, gender, male, weight 135 pounds. For his prior experience, he's experienced with DXM. For the set, they tripped on Dowson the night before this, and the setting, at home. Alright, so here we are with another DXM trip. This one being fairly unique, compared to any other ones we covered yet. The first thing being is that, this may be the first report we're covering, where Plateau Sigma occurs, as it seems to have arisen by accident, due to this being polystyrex. Now I'm not going to break down Plateau Sigma here in depth, but basically, it's another state of DXM that can be reached. Some call it the 5th Plateau but you get there by prolonging and spreading out large doses basically. Now I never heard of it happening with polysterex, but in theory, with its longer duration, it just may be possible a sort of sigma is hit with the right dose on accident, which sigma is often regarded as too overwhelming for most people. But besides that, this report also stands out because it's a report covering twins. And on top of that, Kobe and his twin brother both come into this with a very near identical set. They take the same amount of DXM, but interestingly, it's Kobe's brother that has a rough time. Now I'm not denying he had Plateau Sigma, but based off the way he describes it, it very well could have been his brother just having a rough dissociative trip, while Kobe has a pretty standard DXM trip. Which I find makes this even more interesting and says a lot about how subtle differences can make a difference. Considering they are twins and they took about the same dose at the same time, but still had different trips. But this is a really interesting, unique report, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So, without further ado, let's dive right into this. So first off, I've been doing DXM for quite a while now. My very first experience, I fell into Sigma. How? Beats me. But I think it has something to do with my brain having the first serotonin rush it's ever had. After that, I waited a few months, then it started again. But for this past year, I've been a regular user. I have very many experiences, but this one in particular, I think you guys will enjoy. I have an identical twin, and we both weigh about 135 pounds. We tried the night before this on a bottle of Delsum each. Me and him have never felt sick off any DXM trip, which might be because we only get DXM as the only ingredient. That trip wasn't significant, but I only bring it up because it plays a huge part in this night. We decided that trip the night before wasn't enough, so we decided to each take a bottle of Delsum and split another half and half. We both down a bottle and he goes to take a shower. I ended up drinking about two thirds of the bottle, an estimated 1600 milligrams of poly. He comes back and drinks the rest. So far, so good. Every time we trip, we start out doing the same thing. We sit in my recliners and watch YouTube until it kicks in. We watch YouTube for about one hour and the Delsum starts to hit me. I ask my brother how he feels, and he says he's starting to feel it, and we go back to watching YouTube. After about 30 minutes, I see his legs shaking, but I think nothing of it, because he always does that, just an anxious twitch. But as the time goes by, the shaking starts to get really fast, and almost inhuman. I ask him why he's shaking so bad, and he says, I don't know. So I tell him to stand up, and it will stop, and sure enough it stops. He then proceeds to go lay on my bed. After about 5 minutes, I ask him to come back and watch YouTube, and he doesn't respond, so I go over and ask if he's okay. He says give me a second, and then starts saying, you are Blake, you are Blake. Blake is my brother's name. At this point, I'm starting to worry because this is out of the ordinary. He says he's going to chill in his room for a bit, and I'm like, okay. So after about 20 minutes, I go into his room, and he's sitting on his bed, staring at nothing. I ask him if he's okay, and he very softly says, What's happening? Then I realize he's falling into Sigma. I tell him, I think you're going into a plateau called Sigma. Don't worry, you're okay, but these next few hours are going to be a little scary. He just stares at me blankly, so I tell him to come to my room. As we're robo-walking to my room, he leans all his weight on me. We get to my room, and I tell him to sit down. If you don't know much about Sigma, it's a state of pure confusion. He sits down. I'm talking to him, and then say, 
If you think there is something genuinely wrong, we can call an ambulance. Then he goes, no, 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 very softly. I ask him if he wants water, and he nods his head. So I leave him sitting down on the floor and go upstairs and get water. As I come back into the room, he's in the exact same spot, staring at the exact same spot. So I hand him the water, and he downs it. I continue to explain what Sigma is, and tell him that he's okay, and that I'm going to take care of him, and not to worry. I'm very drug smart, so he puts his whole trust in me, and gets a little less scared. After a bit, he says he wants to go to his room. So I'm like, okay, and then I walk him to his room. He lays down, and asks again, what's happening? and starts to tear up. I give him a hug and tell him it's okay and that it'll be over soon. I put on YouTube and tell him to watch something that he likes. He says he's okay and that I can go back to my room. I go back to my room and start tripping hard. At one point, I lost concept of time. I would look at time and then look outside, see that it was dark and was so confused. I spent some time on my phone and set an alarm for every hour until morning so I can go check on him. The first time I check on him, he wants to come to my room again, so I bring him in. He sits down, and I just talk, trying to take his mind off the trip. Then he randomly gets up and walks to a corner in the room. I ask what he was doing. Then he goes, what? This is when I realized how bad this was. I take him to his room and sit with him while he watched videos for a while then eventually go to my room. I'm just chilling, enjoying light dance on my walls, and thinking very deeply. For the rest of the night, I would check on my brother, and he was fine every time. At about 6am, 10 hours after dropping, I get genuine hallucinations I've never had out of the dozens of my trips. Everything looks familiar, but I can't name what anything is. Of course, I see shadow people and the regular DXM visuals, but then I see figures. If you ever played Halo, it looks like someone with active camo on. I saw transparent, but very realistic people. At about 9am, I'm on the countdown, and the effects were comparable to a low second plateau. I go to my brother's room, and he looks at me and starts crying. I go and give him a hug, and ask him if he's okay. He says, that was terrifying, I was so scared. I didn't know anything, and couldn't tell what was real. I tell him about Sigma, and that it happens sometimes. And then he goes, you're such a good brother. I honestly don't know how I would have gotten through that without you. The rest of the day, we just talk about the trip and things like that. Overall, this experience was scary and very rough, but also enlightening. The biggest takeaway from this trip was deep bonding with my brother. This experience made us much closer and our trust for each other is much stronger. Please be careful and don't do back-to-back -back trips like we did. You significantly increase chances for Plateau Sigma, and trust me, very, very few people enjoy it. I recommend researching it. I suggest the week per plat rule. Sorry for such a long trip report, but hopefully you liked it and learned something. Stay safe, guys.